just get the run around. Wham bam, cap out, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mask. Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. In the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. She's the latest operations carried out by Elliot Mouse and his untouchables had left Alcatone in dire financial straits. But the mobster was still trying to look like a benefactor in the eyes of Cheese Cargo citizens, and was in the act of opening Kitty Island, a giant amusement park with all the very latest rides and attractions. Many people, however, felt the speed with which the park had been built called its safety into question. And so your ace reporter, Tino Barati, is right here on the spot to uncover the truth about the whole matter. Citizens of Cheese Cargo, welcome to Kitty Island. You sure this park is perfectly safe, Senior Caton? Of course it is, Mr. Med. You think I got a lot of clowns to build it for me? Oh, balloons! I love balloons! Gimme, gimme! And sell me, will you grow up? So, would you like a balloon, mister? No, I want all of them. <laughs> okay, makes no difference to me. Whoa, hey, huh? I'm flying! Oh! Wow, this place is huge, isn't it, guys? Yeah, well, maybe Kato finally did something good for a change, huh? Nonsense, Mooney. Once a gangster, always a gangster. Yeah, I think Jack's right, fellas. So let's stay together, shall we? Huh? Oh, come on, Elliot. Relax. Stop being a policeman for one day and have some fun. I'll look after the kids. Look, a Ferris wheel! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kids for you, huh? Hey, I wonder where Gordon's got to. Where else would he be, Elliot? This is an amusement park, so Gordon is indulging in his favorite amusement at the Candy and Snacks booth. Come on, try the crazy boat ride, boys and girls. It's fun! This ride will take you up, spin you around, and you'll come back with a splashdown. That's the way, fellas. Come on, don't be afraid. This boat's safer than the streets of Cheese Cargo. Oh. Hey, where did that clown come from, Nitty? He looks familiar. I don't know, senor. He signed on with the others to wait for nothing. I don't like it. There's something fishy going on. <laughs> now, you fellas have a nice trip. <laughs> hey! And hold on tight! <laughs> How come the boat didn't sink, eh? Well, How come? I don't know. We did everything like you told us to, Tom Honest. <laughs> hey, not bad. Good thing it was only a few drops. I hate getting wet. Hey, huh? this is great fun. I'm having a What are you trying to do, stupid sinker? Sit down before I slap you down. Oh, I think we got a problem. Uh-oh. I don't believe you. You know I hate getting wet. Alcatone into it up to his neck in his own amusement park. Oh boy, what a story this will make. Uh, uh, I hate getting wet, but this little dip has refreshed yeah. my memory, Nitty. Now I remember exactly who that clown is. It's Tom Ooh. Clown. Uh, right. <laughs> and this is only the beginning, Catone. It won't stop until I see your face as I bring this entire amusement park down around your ears. I'm going to ruin you and have fun at the same time. <laughs> What's all that shouting about? Huh? Huh? Hey! Whoa! Oh, oh, there's something wrong with the rides. They seem to have gone haywire. Oh no, Deborah! This is great! 
You can see the whole park from here. Be careful, Junior. It's dangerous to lean out like that. <laughs> Don't worry, Junior. I've got you now. Hold on tight. Jack, quick, get the 326. Wilson, go and find Gordon. Both of you meet me by the Ferris wheel and move it. Ah! Huh. It seems to be stuck. Oh, it's impossible. I just can't move it. It's no good. I can't find Gordon. This place is too big. He could be anywhere. Uh, uh, what is it? What's the matter with everybody? Stand aside, please. Stand aside. Let us through. All right, fellas, here we are, ready to go into action, so let's get to it. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, wait, hold on a minute there. Hold on, I'm coming. Just hold on. It's those untouchables. What are they doing with that car? Oh, hurry, Elliot, please. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now jump over and I'll catch you. Come on. Oh, yeah! Great. Your turn now, Julia. Come on, just stretch your arms out. No, I can't. I'm too scared, Mr. Mouse. Oh. Come on, Junior. One, two, three. Oh. Girl, Deborah, you held on right to the end. Yeah, but remind me not to come to the amusement park on my next day off, won't you? It ain't my thing. Jeez, and crackers, but that car's amazing. Come on, Tom. If this crowd catches, they'll skin us alive. We'd better get out of here. Oh. <sighs> Don't let that Goomba get away. I want that clown's hide. Hey, you want to see something funny? You're a clown, so laugh this off, huh? They wrapped the rope. Come on! Get back here, you clown! <laughs> There's our getaway vehicle. Come on! Huh? huh? It's Tom Clown! The gentleman wins! Give him a coconut. Now, let's see how this thing works. Oh! This engine packs a punch. Aha! Ahoy there, surprise! Oh! 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 Won't forget this. I'll get even with you clowns if it's the last thing I do. Oh, thanks for the present, friends. You know, I just love surprises. <laughs> Make way for the RT! Oh, this is fun. I wonder what this button here does. <laughs> The 326 couldn't have fallen into worse hands. Huh? Look out! Oh! Why come before a fall, so they say. Look, that's better. Hey, do you guys want to see a great juggling act? Oh, 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 what huh? the? With this car, the city will be ours. <laughs> Tom Clown steals the Untouchables car. <laughs> Tom Clown ransacks Cheese Cargo. What are the Untouchables waiting for? Asked the mayor. I've already told you, Mr. Mayor. Leave it to me. Oh, boy, that guy gives me a pain. He wants me to arrest you if we can't recover that car. What was Tom Clown doing at that amusement park anyway? My guess is paying Catone back for getting his circus closed down, right? Isn't there any way we can arrest him? That's mission impossible as long as he has the 326, I'm afraid. We can't compete against him. 
What about that crazy mouse we managed to lay hands on? You get anything out of him yet, Chief Stunned? No, not a thing, Elliot. Every time we question him, we get a different story. We don't know when he's telling the truth. It's just impossible to tell. A scientist at the University of Chicago has invented something that might just be able to help us out. Elliot Mouse, pleased to meet you, Dr. Yella. Oh, no, the pleasure's all mine. It isn't every day that one has the pleasure of working with the untouchables. So where's this great invention of yours, Doc, huh? What? Oh, it's right here beside me. A chair? And what does this chair do? Finds out when someone is lying. Impossible. Not really. When someone tells the truth, they breathe normally and their hearts beat evenly, like so. But when they lie, they breathe faster and their hearts beat stronger, like this. Like to try it? <laughs> oh, all right, but it'll never work. All right, Doctor. Gordon's all connected up. Splendid. Now we can start whenever you like. Right. Go ahead, Gordon. Tell us a lie. Well, what kind of lie? Well, I don't know any kind of lie. All right. I don't like cheese. What? What happened? Wow, it has never handled such a whopping lie before. Is the machine still working, Doc? No, it's not, and it cost me a fortune to build. <laughs> well done, Gordon. Couldn't you have started with a little white lie? I just couldn't think of one. What should I say? I like Gruyere more than Roquefort or what? Roquefort? Now you come to mention it. Hold on a second, fellas. Take a look. You see this? Bill and Roquefort Cheese Egyptian Art Exhibition. Sure, what about it? They got the treasures at Tutankham House and it opens tomorrow. Sharp thinking, Wilson. I'll go tell Chief Stun this could be the very bait we need to catch Tom Clown. Come on, Doc. Don't feel so bad about it. Every great scientist has the odd. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Now, ain't that a bit too risky, Tom? The place will be filled with cops, and we already got enough jewels and money and stuff. Why risk it for some old treasure? Hey, don't you know you can never have enough, you idiot? <laughs> and you're forgetting our new friend for whom all doors are wide open. <laughs> right, is she ready? Oh, she's ready, Tom. <laughs> They're really gonna get a bang out of this one. <laughs> you really think he'll show? You can bet on it, Chief. He wouldn't let a golden opportunity like this pass him by. A chance to steal the treasure of Tutankham House. Aha! What a magnificent exhibition, Madame Roquefort. The treasure of Tutankham House is greater than I imagined. Oh, yes. You know the opulence of the Fourth Dynasty. I wonder what a dynasty is. I'll have to pay attention if I'm gonna learn anything. Hi, Jack. How's everything going out there? Fine, but there's not much room. I had to leave Deborah's car in plain view at the front. We can't leave it there. Oh, don't worry, Elliot. Nothing will happen to it. I hope so, after what it took to convince her to let us use it. Cheese and crackers. I wonder who this statue's supposed to be. Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, it sure doesn't look like I got off to a very good start in my first lesson on ancient history. Why aren't there any gates to show us all? Maybe that man can help us, darling. Oh, um, excuse me, my hey, good man. Hey, what is it? What gives, huh? I say, what happened to that little statue? It's most peculiar. Oh, the corpulence of the Fifth Dynasty, you know. Uh, uh, I'll be seeing you then. Have a nice day. Hey, Chief. Chief! Well, what's the matter? Oh. Huh? It's him, Tom Clown. He just robbed another bank. Oh, that's it, Patient Mouse. I can't wait any longer. I'm going out to look for that clown right away. Hey, wait a minute, Chief. That clown may still show up here. Aye, and we haven't a hope of catching him without the help of you and your officers. He ain't gonna show up here, so we're leaving. Leaving? How uh -oh. dare you leave this exhibition unprotected? Now come back here, you no good coward! Come on, let's get out of here. You come back! Go Maybe Tom Clown doesn't know about this exhibition yet. But we can't take a chance on that, Wilson. I think we'd better clear the hall immediately. Hey, that horn sounds kind of familiar. Aye, so it should. That's the same horn I installed in the 326. Tom Clown! All right, everybody out of the car right now. You're all under arrest. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Agent Mouse. 
Yeah, we're the clowns here. Get out of the car and I ain't playing around. Okay, if you insist, but maybe we should all just have a real good laugh about it, huh? Come on, Agent, where's your sense of humor? <laughs> <laughs> What the? What's going on? Look out! It's laughing gas! Oh, get back, everyone! <laughs> Crumbling chitter! My eyes feel like they're burning up! <laughs> now, you agents, we'll see how much we've improved your old jalopy! <laughs> Let's go, guy! Titan Commerce is pleasure! They've broken the glass around it! <laughs> Yeah, and they're making off with the loot! <laughs> That's what I always say. There ain't nothing like a good laugh. <laughs> See you later, fellas! <laughs> Let's get after them, fellas! <laughs> hey, Jack! Not so fast! You should drive more carefully! <laughs> yeah, right, Gordon. I think I picked the wrong gear. <laughs> oh, no! We dented the car! Deborah's gonna kill us! <laughs> <laughs> the Untouchables let Tom Clown get away with the treasure. Cheese and onion. Catone's pet newspaper's always trying to have a pop at us. Worst thing is, that photo shows the state of Deborah's car. Aye, and it'll take me some time to get it fixed up. Ooh, you better hide the paper. Here she comes. Huh? Uh-oh. How's it going, fellas? I didn't notice my car outside. Where did you park it? Well, uh, there weren't any parking spaces out front, so, uh... You haven't let anything happen to my car. Oh, oh no, 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 of course, course not, Deborah. Deborah. Nothing, Nothing at all, all honest. honest. excuse me messieurs, you have a telephone call. I'll get it. So you fellas haven't got anything to tell me. Uh, it's like this, Deborah. Yes, Elliot. Uh-huh, fine, we'll be right over. Let's go, Dr. Yellow's fixed his lie detector. Terrific! Now we'll be able to interrogate that crazy clown we arrested and maybe get at the truth. Right. Gotta go. Sorry, Deborah. Cheese, because they sure are in a strange mood today. Huh? What? Oh, my car! Elliot! And are you sure this gizmo's gonna work? Yeah, only a first-rate actor would be able to fool my lie detector. Well, let's see how good an actor this crazy mouse is. <laughs> hey, what is this electric chair? Buckle up! No, it's a lie detector. <laughs> a what? Yeah, if you tell a lie, Dr. Yellow will be able to read it on his printout. You won't be able to fool us, laughing boy. Hey, shush, be quiet, Gordon. You give it away. Well, well. <laughs> right, my friend, you can start talking. I don't got nothing to say. You don't? What? I won't talk. That way you won't be able to tell if I'm lying or not, will ya? <laughs> Great, Gordon. Thanks to you, we're back to square one. Well, if he won't talk, there's nothing we can do, right? Well, this invention detects not only when someone is lying, but also when they're hiding something. I ain't saying nothing! What do you mean, Doc? Well, now, if you mention something that he knows but keep silent about it, it will show up on here. That's very interesting. Well, my little joker, shall we go over some details? I suppose your hiding place must be outside the city, right? Uh, Let's say the lake, maybe. He's nervous. The lake, huh? So would that be on the South Shore? Even more nervous now. The South Shore. All right, then. It's somewhere on the docks, perhaps. By the forest? Yeah, yeah, it's by the forest, Agent Mouse. Well... Thanks for your help, Pipsqueak. You told us exactly what we wanted to know. I didn't want to tell you anything, but you made me tell you, big bully. Right, come on, fellas, let's get going. Hoist the anchor, little guys. <laughs> we got visitors. Right, engines full steam ahead. Oh, right, Captain, sir. I don't like.
like it. There are too many places around here they could be hiding. Well, maybe they'll find us before we find them. You might have something. Move into the shore. Let's see if we can draw them out, Jack. Charge! Got him. Okay, wait till they get a bit closer. Point the Jolly Roger! All right, let her go. All right, Wilson, we got him now. Right, adjust 37 degrees to port and fire, Gordon. <laughs> Hey, hey, nice cast, Gordon. Looks like you landed a whop. Oh, blistering camera bear, get me out of here. Let's see what this gadget here does. I don't believe it. They're cutting through the net. Huh? Let's go get them before it's too late. Now you're gonna get it, you land lovers. Uh, what is it? It's a missile. Everyone into the water, fast. Song of victory! 16 mice and a dead man's chest. Yo ho, ho with crackers and cheese. We're only clowns, but we beat the feds. Yo ho! <laughs> <laughs> You guys okay? No, I don't like to hear songs about Rockefeller cheese, especially out of two. Go and do your thing, Bill. And stop that terrible music! What's the matter, fellas? Not singing anymore? Oh. You clowns will have to sing in Sing Sing. <laughs> well, Jack, I guess you finally got the 326 back. Ah, you're right, Wilson. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have been damaged substantially. Uh-oh, that reminds me. We still got some unfinished business with another car, fellas, if you know what I mean. Now, let me see. We can go... Well, Deborah, here's your car back like we promised. And as you can see, there's not even a scratch on it, huh? How about that? I have to admit it, Jack's done a great paint job. Yes, I'm really impressed. Huh? Huh? What are you talking you about? What paint job? job? We don't know what you're talking, talking about. about. I mean this job. Huh? Oh, come on now, Deborah. Don't be angry. We just didn't want you to be worried about your car, that's all. Don't worry, Mouse. You won't get another chance to make me worry about anything. I take back what I said about a good job. It's lousy. <laughs> Maybe those clowns fix this, too. It's not my fault. They didn't give me enough time to repair it properly. I protest. I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, it wasn't only the Untouchables who had the last laugh. In prison, Tom Clown and his crazy troop had another chance to put a show on in front of a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, some of the inmates wanted to stay in prison so they could see the show every day. Yeah! Oh, and I suppose you think that's really funny, don't you? <laughs> World-renowned tenor Antonio Catuzzo, known to his friends as High C, arrives to perform at the Chicago Opera House. But the sinister Catone decides to use High C as only a fiendish mind could. As a result of Catuzzo's glass-shattering voice, the city's network of burglar alarms are thrown into chaos, and Catone's plan for the robbery of Ratfinis is put into action. Can Elliot pick up the scent? To find out, don't miss the next episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables!